एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन द फ्रिक्शन को इफिशियंट बिटवीन एन एथलीट शूज एंड द ग्राउंड इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन सपोज द सुपरमैन वियर्स दिस शूज एंड रेसेज फॉर फिफ्टी मीटर दे इज नो लिमिट ऑन इज कैपेसिटी ऑफ रनिंग एट हाई स्पीड्स ए फाइंड द मिनिमम टाइम दैट ही विल हैव टू टेक इन कंप्लीटिंग द फिफ्टी मीटर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम रेस्ट बी सपोज ही टेक्स एग्जैक्टली दिस मिनिमम टाइम टू कंप्लीट द फिफ्टी मीटर वॉट मिनिमम टाइम विल ही टेक टू स्टॉप Let us draw the free body diagram of the superman. Gravitational force of mg acts on him in vertically downward direction. Normal contact force from the ground pushes the superman upward. Friction force whose maximum possible value is mu into n pushes him forward. Balancing the forces in vertical direction, we get n is equal to mg. The maximum value of friction force is mu into n. Putting the value of normal, we get f max is equal to mu mg. If a max be the maximum possible acceleration of superman, then m into a max is equal to mu mg, which implies a max is equal to mu g or 0.9 into 10, that is 9 meters per second square. From equations of motion, we know that if initial speed is zero, the displacement s is given by half a t square. Putting the values, we get 50 is equal to half into 9 into t square, which implies t square is equal to 100 by 9 or t is equal to 10 by 3. This is answer to part A of the question. When trying to stop, the acceleration is provided by the friction only. Therefore, the maximum possible acceleration two is nine meters per second square. Since the rate of the acceleration and acceleration is same, the time taken to stop must be equal to the time taken during acceleration. Thus, time taken to stop is also ten by three seconds. This is answer to part B of the question. In order to request solution to any question from S C Verma book. Post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter for latest updates. Thank you for watching.